Whenever I die, I don't, I don't want any regrets. Not in any area of my life. And dude, we're gonna create our own fucking life. And anybody that don't like it, fuck them. They finish me, never to be seen. To a place where the years always feel the screams. So that's a big part of your brand, you know, always telling the truth. Yeah. Now, what do you do in situations where the truth will really hurt that person? Well, the truth sucks. But give me an example of like hurting them, like hurting them like in a bad way or hurting them as in like I hurt their feelings. Because listen, if I was being a dick to my wife and you're like, hey, dude, you're being a dick to your wife. I'd be like, dude, what do you mean? No, dude, like your wife, like you're being a dick to her. Okay, like if you want her to treat you good, you need to be good to her. That's how this works, man. You guys are gonna keep running down this road, you're gonna end up getting divorced, you're gonna look back, you're gonna regret it. Why the hell did you marry her anyways? Hey, there's an old saying, it says, if you treat something like it's the beginning, there'll never be an end. Okay, remember day one when y'all met, you were just dying to take her to dinner, take her to lunch, and press her? Yeah, but like, come on, man. I mean, you used to skip heartbeats and shit. You used to have that crush. Bro, that's the reason why you guys are fighting. You forgot about all that. You're taking that for granted, man. Is she uglier now? Is she not cool now? No, she's the same person, dude. You lost your perspective. Go back and treat her like it was the beginning. I promise you, you guys will be back in love tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, like, like, that's the truth. Or I could just be like, oh, man, I can't believe she's treating you that way. See, that's the world. Dude, if you had food on your face right now, would you want me to tell you? Yeah. I guarantee you this. Do me a favor. Put some food on your face and go walk around <laughs> and see how many people won't tell you. Most people won't. Yeah. No, I'll fucking tell you. Dude, you got shit on your face, man. <laughs> Like, 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 I want you to know that, like, I give a shit about you and as awkward as it, as it is, like, I want to tell you so I can make you better or I can help you out. Like, dude, I want to be around people that don't walk on eggshells when they're around me. I'm not better than you. Dude, I have no title higher than you. It doesn't matter how much money somebody has or what they have. Dude, it's like, dude, are we brothers? Are we, are we really in to help each other? If we are, come on, man, let's tell each other the truth. So when you say, tell people the truth, what I believe is the reason why people in this world are all getting fucking soft and being pussies and falling apart and being fucking victims is because no one is telling them the truth. <laughs> And, and what I've learned is that I, I tell people the truth in the beginning, they don't like me, okay? But then they go look in the mirror, they get over their pride, their ego, and their entitlement, and they realize that I'm fucking telling them the truth. Hey, hey, I don't want to be right. I just want to win, okay? So if you have the same goal as me and you want to win, eventually at some point you're going to look in the mirror and you're going to say, hey, this guy was telling us the truth. So you change. Yeah. And then they become my greatest fans because they're like, man, hey, dude, this is right, man. Like everybody's been lying to me. Dude, I'm telling you, bro. We need more of the truth. That's all we need. So, so there's a guy that lives here locally. His name's Bradley, yeah. right? Um, three years ago when I started my business, I got close to him. Bradley goes, I'm going to give you the greatest advice ever. If you want to really stand out, if you want to really be different, if you want to be in this game long term, be really who you are. Don't go fucking shoot content. You are the content. As you keep recreating, as you keep getting better, as you keep growing, that's the fucking content. And by the way, he's like, be real careful about watching a lot of other people, okay? Because you don't want to sound like them. You're, you're you, you're who you are, okay? I know nobody may not like you today. It's because you ain't really done nothing yet, okay? And by the way, they need credibility. They need to see you get grow over time. You got to keep getting better. Mm -hmm. And once you keep getting better, like, it's exciting to see people that you can see in front of your face truly transform and grow. Because then I'm like, well, f dude, if they did it, then I can do it. And by the way, who do you want to be around? People that have done it. You know, anything that you want right now, what are you going to do? You're going to go find somebody that has been where you want to go, and that's who you're going to learn from. And that's why when you transform as being an influencer and you do greater or in any area of life, it inspires everybody to want to do more. So I can tell the truth. My family is 350 to 500 pounds. They're, most of them are on their second stomach surgery. So when I talk about, like, don't be fat, like, I understand that shit. Okay, I'm a fat guy inside. I will eat boxes of pizza all day long. If I do, I know what's going to happen. I'm going to hate myself. I'm going to be just like the rest of my family. And everybody who told me I wasn't going to fucking make it is exactly right. And I refuse 10 years from now for people to sit back when I fucking quit and I gave up and then fucking laugh at me and say, hey, man, that guy got close, almost made it. You know, no yeah. ways, man. I'm going to burn their fucking eyes out with my winning. I'm going to burn their eyes out with changing the world. And I'm going to become something everybody else that I couldn't have. Dude, I'm telling you, that shit fuels me when people tell me I can't do shit. It fuels me. Hey, don't trigger me. It fucking fuels me. And I put that shit in the bag. And I'm telling you, dude, when I feel tired and I don't want to get up or I haven't fucking slept in days or I'm building something great, dude, listen, I just take a little bit of that out of the bag, man. Yeah. And that shit fucking gets me back in the game because I'm going to fucking prove them wrong, dude. I'm not letting them fucking prove me right. I'm, I'm not going to let them win. Yeah, so, hey, everybody has an edge. You got to figure out what fuels you. Okay, mm -hmm. you know, and, and that's what fuels me, man. Yeah. Sounds like you've really figured out your why, your purpose. Well, I know me. See, most people don't know themselves. Like you're good at talking to everybody else, but a lot of people really don't spend time on themselves. Every morning for an hour and a half, I go to the gym. I fucking work on me. 
Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. I work on my mental health. I know this is a reason why a lot of people are mentally broke. If you drive around, you look in cars, everybody's on their phone. Everybody's watching social media, they're on a podcast, they're trying to figure out who they are. Mm -hmm. I know who I am. I work on me for an hour and a half every morning. I fucking know my darkness, I know my weakness, I know my points, and my mental toughness gets strong because I work on me in the gym. And then when I leave, I bring good shit to my family, I bring good shit to my clients, my customers, myself, I'm in a better mood all day long. I know who I wanna be and I have to reset every fucking day. So I, I, uh, I, I know what my why is, I know what my purpose is, I wanna change people's lives, I wanna be the best at whatever I do, right? Um, I work from a state of madness, you know what I mean? Like I. I want to give my family a lifestyle I never had. Um, also, man, like uh, I, I want to fucking win, man. I'm, I'm sick of fucking losing. <laughs> I don't want to lose anymore, and I want to. I'm I'm ready to die. Like at any point in time, whether I live a long time or now, whenever I die, I don't I don't want any fucking regrets. Not in any area of my life. So I'm just like, dude, like let's go hard, right? So I said, go to bed tired, right? Wake up fucking starving. If you don't go to bed, if I, dude, the second I lay down, I'm out. I'm out like a light. I, I've grinded so hard. My eyes are blood stained because, dude, I've literally, and people say, well, that's not healthy. Hey, dude, I'm pretty fucking healthy. Okay. <laughs> but my point is, is that when you start maxing in, I mean, why did God make us to be able to even do this? You know what's unhealthy? It's fucking living to the end of your life, right? Being comfortable, being put in a corner, being fed three times a day, had no fucking problems. And then sitting on a, a bedpan saying, saying, I wish I fucking would have. Mm. I wish I could. Man, f*** that, dude. I'd rather live another 10 years, go hard as hell, and be a legend in my family, change as many people's lives as I can. My life actually counted. Dude, imagine this if your life didn't count. You just showed up, you did it, and it's over. No ways, man. Live a life that fucking counts. Mm -hmm. It's not about how long you live. It's about if you really lived. That's it, man. So, hey. I'm telling you, dude, my eyes are blood stained. I mean, one time my wife's like, hey, get these Lumify drugs. I'm like, they don't work. <laughs> I am, and by the way, you know what it is? I'm chasing a dream. I'm chasing a dream. You know what my dream is? Is that if I can do it, so can everyone else. So I'm just gonna fucking keep chasing all these people down and we're gonna call our own shots. We're not gonna be crowd pleasers. We're not gonna kiss anybody's ass. And dude, we're gonna create our own fucking life. Mm. And anybody that don't like it, fuck them. Look, I don't hate you. One day you're gonna come around. One day, all of our haters end up being our biggest fans at some point, right. okay? They all do, man. So that's why I would tell you that if you really have a good heart, two things, have great intentions and have a great heart. And if you have a great heart, by the way, I wanna tell you something. If I tell you the truth and I don't have a good heart, like you know I don't have a good heart, like I'm telling you because I'm being a dick. Man, you're fat, man. No, listen to me. Dude, your children are watching you. Like, dude, like if you don't get healthy, your kids aren't gonna be healthy. And I know that sucks but I know that your kids are the most important thing to you in your life. So let's be a good example, okay? Dude, if one of your kids got diabetes when they were older because their parents let them eat whatever they want, how would you feel? Let's make a change now. Okay, like that's the truth. And you know my heart's in it and I got good intentions because mm -hmm. I care about your family. That's why I'll tell you, if you got good intentions and you got a great heart, you can be this leader that can tell people the truth. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.